Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a health spell, hello. So today I thought I would come on. I basically have got a few pieces from different stores. And um, I know I normally do kind of everything from one shop, but there's no real reason for that because in actual fact, most of us don't, you know, when I do a haul, I tend to do it from one shop, but I have got some bits and bobs that I've bought in various shops. And I thought, will I show you? And then I thought, well, I might as well, because <laughs> as well, it lets me see what they look like kind of while I'm walking and not just standing, posing in front of a mirror. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. So if that's not for you, fair enough. I've got um, a couple of kind of dresses for now and then a few summer dresses. I think there's a few. And um, one kind of trouser suit from Georgia Asda. And I was a bit reluctant to buy anything at all from George, given my last experience. But I thought, well, equally, you know, in the end, I got my money back through the credit card. So for those of you who don't know that saga, I returned a big parcel of clothes back to George and I had the receipts. So important to keep your receipts. I actually have a purse now in my handbag that I put the receipts in immediately so that I don't lose them. And um, I had to go, I couldn't get anything from George and I had to go through my credit card to get the refund. And yesterday I was at the Astro Optician with Rob getting him some glasses. They really are the most economical place for glasses I think that I've come across. I mean, he got two, pa I've digressed as usual. He got two, pe two pairs of very focal um, reactor light glasses and a very focal pair of sunglasses, all for about £380. Now, I know that's a lot of money. Of course, that's a lot of money. But to be fair, I don't think he's had a new pair of glasses for almost three years. And he just had the one pair that last time that has lasted him through. So um, the great thing about Asda is that the price on the lens is the price, not on the lens, the price on the frame is the price that you pay. So if it says £100, that includes the lens, the um, if they're very focals, the only thing you pay extra for is the reactor light. Um, I think that's the only thing you pay extra light for. It comes with scratch resistant coating. It comes with um, the blue light kind of glare coating. So yeah, one pair was gonna cost that in Costco. So anyway, why did I say that? Yes, <laughs> that's Rob outside. I Sorry, I, I saw a thing come up there, someone at the front door, but it's just Rob. Um, yeah, so the lady in Asda was saying, the uh, dispensing optician was saying how challenging it had been since they had changed owner because they changed from Walmart to a new company. I'm not sure who that is. And all of their systems have changed. And I thought, mm, I wonder if that is why they had so many problems not knowing what had been returned to their store. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. And for the poor people working with those systems. I mean, I know when I was at work, when you got a new system in for anything, it was a nightmare. So let alone if the whole system had changed. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I've got... Um, a trousers and top from George. I did get Robson bits in their sale from the Edit range and they were lovely, lovely products, but they were all very small. And, you know, he did the short stuff and he said, oh, these are all right. And I was like, oh, they're not really, love. And he, he said, well, what's wrong with them? And I said, just have a little look in the mirror and, you know, I mean, I'm not saying Rob is slim. I'm not saying anything about his size or that. But, you know, they were so tight around his waist that he did have a little uh, love handle all the way around. So I've got to take those back. So I'll quickly try those um, two pieces on and see what they're like. And then I've got a couple of dresses from John Lewis, a couple from Monsoon, 
and a couple from Next as well, I think. So it's it's quite the um, mashup today of different stores and uh, I hope you enjoy it. As ever, thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the nice comments. And, um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I should have said this sooner. Would you like me to do and ask me anything um, questions? You know, so you send me your questions and uh, I will answer them. And you can you can ask Rob questions too. I'm not saying he'll answer them, but he might. It depends. So comment on this video if you would like to ask us anything. And uh, yeah, I'll do a video answering your questions. So I'll crack on now with the clothes and see how we get on. I get on. Now this is interesting. I, I kind of like this. This is a snake print lightweight shirt, 14 pounds, and the trousers are 15 pounds. Now what's strange about this is, it's the same print, but they are different colorways. And I've looked and looked at it, and my eyes, I don't think, are deceiving me. And I don't think it would be so bad if the colourway was the other way around so that the lighter was on the top and the darker was on the bottom. But um, I'm pretty sure this is 100% polyester. Oh, it's reduced to £10 now, this shirt. Um, so, yeah, it's 100% polyester. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like polyester. It feels really nice. I would not have known this is polyester. I mean, it's incredible what they can do now, isn't it? So it's this snake print, which is all, you know, what you would expect, the blacks and the taupes and the browns. And then it's got these elasticated waist trousers. Um, but it is, the background colour is different to this background colour. So it's a, it's a shame, isn't it? Because I think, I think it'd be quite nice actually as a set, but they are different colours. So this is a 16 top and an 18 bottom, but you can see there, can't you? You can see different colourway and as I say I think if the darker was on the bottom and the lighter was on the top it would almost look kind of graduated but the fact that it's the other way around it's a bit disappointing really because I quite like it it's quite a nice shirt in its own right to be fair quite an easy easy wear shirt um, and you could obviously wear it open with a, a vest top or whatever it's a good length covers my backside and I wonder how much those trousers are now. Oh, the trousers are 10 pounds. They are showing it as a set on the, and the top is 10 pounds. So the two pieces would now cost you just 20 pounds. But I don't think I can get past. It almost feels like your eyes are deceiving you, doesn't it? But anyway, Mm. I mean, I would reorder it. They've still got it in all the sizes. So if I wanted it, I would reorder it at the lower price. Don't, you know, nothing to lose, is there really? But uh, I might just keep the blouse, even just for 14 pounds. It's pretty good value, isn't it? Quite a versatile shirt and it fits me quite nicely. So yeah. Anyway, that's the first piece. That's the only piece from George. I didn't really see anything else I was drawn to. I think that in the summer, with the cottons and viscose, it's easier to buy lower priced items that don't particularly look lower priced. Whereas when you start getting into the heavier fabrics, the wools and the uh, kind of jersey, the lower priced items can look lower priced if you do you understand what I mean? So yeah, but I like this. So I might keep it. I'll decide when I watch. 
Now this dress is monsoon and this was reduced to £32 viscose and oftentimes things are in the sale for a reason and I think this is absolutely classically why this one is in the sale. Look what's happening here, can you see? Basically, they have caught this placket here and there's kind of a tuck there and not quite a tuck there. I mean, I don't actually know what's going on, but look, look what it's doing. I don't think that's particularly good. It's got this twisted effect here, which is all stitched in. So it's not like that that's catching on. But lovely colours, but I don't like the style of the dress at all. Um, be nice and light in a hot country. And as I say, quite nice, fresh colourway. Quite different, isn't it? But even at, at that half price, I'm, I'm not taken with it. No pockets. You nearly saw, I, I put it on, I thought, well, that's loose. And then I realised that there was a side zip that was undone. So, um, yes, that's why it was loose. It's very long as well. Um, but all this malarkey going on here with, with the skew with front certainly would not encourage me to buy it. Though I do like the print and I like the fact that they're angel sleeves, but they have, um, you know, they haven't left that open. So you're not worried about showing your bra or whatever. And that's quite well made, actually, because the zip goes up through there. So, you know, there's quite a lot of making in this dress. And it's not, I mean, it shouldn't be pulling on me because it's a 16. Monsoon 16s are usually fine. But you see, they've got this here and not, I, I don't know. It's not for me anyway. I would just be fiddling and worrying about this the whole time. Quite interesting that they put a side zip in because with this, I wouldn't have thought you'd need it. Although, yeah, there's no elastic around the way. So maybe that's why. But this will be going straight back to Monsoon. So this uh, summer dress from Monsoon was reduced to £70, from £70 to £28. And a lot of people, when I tried on the other red dress from Monsoon that was just miles too big, said, oh, red really suits you. So I thought, oh, OK, well, I'll, I'll try a different red dress. And um, I don't know. I don't know about this one. It's a lovely cotton. It's pure cotton. It's a nice, um, oh, is that a stain or is that, you see that on there? I don't know if that's a stain. Or there's orange, oh no, it's not a stain. There's, it's kind of part of the pattern, a bit weird. Seeing just that bit of orange there. It kind of does look like a stain. I'll have to look at it off me, off of me. My, my son-in-law goes mad when I say off of. He's like, that's right anyway works for me it's very low and it has got this similar kind of contraption that the last one had in as much as you one piece goes there one piece goes there and you do it up in a bow so it's quite low reminds me of a song uh i shan't sing it Yes, the way, can you see that? The way the orange, it's almost like the red has bled. I'm not sure about that. Whether I just keep thinking it looks like it's run. It's quite a neat dress, but mm, not sure. Nice length, very cool. Nice kind of hot summer's day kind of a dress. Nice A-line. Not very long. I don't know. Nothing to dislike about it really, is there? Quite a nice shape, but kind of nothing to write home about either. So that's the two from Monsoon. Now I have two from Next, as in the number two, not TU2. It's low, isn't it? Not sure about that. So this dress is a Love and Roses dress 
from Next, and this was reduced to £44. Their dresses, this probably would have been about the £80 mark, is a nice cotton linen with a nice square neck, but I'm not sure around here. I mean, I, I think with the print, you don't really see that. It fits quite nicely. It's longer and it's got a slit, I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, and it's got elasticated nice sleeves. So it's got quite a high slit, but not too high. And it's got this shirt piece at the back, but I think Love and Roses often come up small, but I think I could have got this in a 16 because it feels just too big around here. That elastic at the back is not actually kind of got any tension on it at all. It's just sitting there. So I don't think the fit is ideal for me really. And I've got enough dresses. So I really now, they have to be kind of outstanding to, to cut the mustard. Um, I might see if they've got it in a 16 because I do like the neck and I do like the color. Um, the red and the pink, I think, is rather nice. So, maybe, but I don't think I'll keep this particular one. I think that's just, doesn't do anything for me, does it, really? It needs to fit. So, what else have I got from them? Oh, I've got a Rowan Zoe dress, which is more of a, a kind of, not, not really a summer dress as such. It's just a nice dress, and it's not a colour I ever normally wear. So this is the Rowan Zoe dress, and as I said, I don't really ever wear this colour. Um, it's got shoulder pads in, which I like. Got a nice V-neck, not too low, low but not too low. And then it's got this kind of Id ideal ruching here, if you get my drift. And this was reduced to £60, and this was probably £120. Um, I think it's a lovely colour, actually. I think this is one of my colours. can't remember. But uh, I would imagine it's viscose. Um, it, it fits like a glove, really. There's no room for manoeuvre. What do we think? I like the, I like the hem. I like the shape. I think a pair of tights would smooth me out, so I would be needing to get my heist tights on the go. But that's fine. I wore those when I wore, that was a Rowan Zoe dress, the uh, leopard print one I wore the other evening, and uh, my tights certainly did the job there. It has got a side zip here, and it is, as I say, it's not too tight at all, but it is fitted, but I guess, that's how a dress is supposed to be, isn't it? It's fitted. So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Do I like it enough? I don't know. When will I wear it? That's the thing. Although it's kind of a classic dress, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know. I'll judge again. While you're judging, I'll be judging. <laughs> Now this dress is a Jolene Moir dress from John Lewis and this was reduced from £65 to £39. It is completely sold out but I think they do sell it in other stores. Now I was 100% not going to like this dress. I thought, mm, don't like the fabric, feels a bit cheap, it's polyester, uh, it's like a polyester jersey. But then I tried it on, I thought, oh, I, I don't know now, I, I think I do quite like it. So, again, it's just pull on, so it's ideal in that respect. And it's got all this ruching, which is very clever as far as um, flattery gets you. Um, what did I, what size did I get it in? I got it in, I should imagine an 18, because they come up small. I know from previous... Yeah, so I got this in an 18. It's, it's, it's a great shape, isn't it? The bottom, you know, it's actually very long, 
at the back um, and a very flattering shape, very flattering indeed. Again, I have nowhere to wear this. I've got a wedding next year, I think, but the chances of me settling on a dress now for a wedding a year away is anyone's guess. So, but if, if nothing else, it lets me know that I like this shape. Um, I think it's very, very flattering, the fact this ruching. I mean, it might not look like it on the camera. I'm just judging on standing in front of a mirror for 30 seconds. So that, I think, is all the dresses. And now I just have one pair of sandals that I haven't actually opened yet. As you know, I've been on the eternal quest for a pair of comfortable heel sandals that I can wear in the evening on the cruise and going forward. Obviously, the cruise is only two weeks of my life, but uh, I was determined that they would be comfortable. And unfortunately, I miss the kind of colour sandals. So um, I've had to kind of just look on the high street. So um, I'll have a look at those now. I've kept the dress on because it won't be much point me trying to show you sandals with um, my trousers on. These are naturalizer and they are an expensive sandal. They are, well oh, shoe. they are 100% leather. They're 60 pounds, but they probably would have been 120, 140 pounds. Um, they're pretty good actually, because they're, they've got a heel, but they're not too high. They're wide enough. You'll have to excuse my toenails because I'm getting the pedicure before the holiday, funnily enough. They've got a good arch support. And as I say, they're quite elegant. And being kind of nude almost, they are, you know, almost kind of nearly not there. Uh, my foot is kind of coming away from the back a little bit, but maybe I just need to do that one up a bit tighter. Obviously they've left the tag on. Not bad. I have got about four other pairs on order from next, but when you buy things in the sale, uh, initially um, in the sale, when you order, it takes weeks and weeks. I mean, this is probably three or four weeks now. Um, and then once that dies down, sorry, excuse me, I've got a runny nose. And um, when that dies down, it will they come kind of back to the next day again, but at the moment it's still taking weeks. So they're pretty good. As I say, they're not too high, but they're not kind of granny looking either. I mean, I know I am a granny, but I don't particularly want to look like a granny. <laughs> Who does? Well, I do when I'm a granny. Sorry. Um, yeah, so that's my haul today. Not massive, but kind of interesting. And, you know, as I've told you before, Next has always got a sale on. John Lewis has always got reductions. You just look for the sale and offers on John Lewis and clearance on Next. And then I usually filter by price. And there's still lots and lots of bargains to be had. And this isn't this isn't a summer dress. I mean, this is an anytime dress. So, not huge, but doesn't have to be, does <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.